So most people in the community recognize poverty, right? I mean, it's what we are experiencing in a time of COVID, right? Or do we see poverty all throughout the land, across the nation, at every time of year? At every time of year, an employee of a company that misbehaves, whether they're on the job or off the job, and gets caught in it, can lose their job. Companies do not want to be associated, usually today, with immoral and affrontal and assaultive and illegal people. This morning I woke up to find that money that should be in my pocket is gone. I get a little tired of these Hispanics that drive their trucks, that want to walk up to me while I'm working, the very few hours I have with silence, to come up and ask me if they can do something for their jobs. In truth, they should have just been doing their jobs. Instead of trying to walk up to see my face, to show themselves off of, did you know I stole the money out of your pocket while you were sleeping there? Now, I can be angry about the fact that some woman blessed me with $5 so I might eat this morning. But what bothers me is that a black woman will choose to bless me, but a Mexican man will steal from me who's homeless. I don't know what version of Catholicdom these Mexicans who are here illegally are using, but at no time did Jesus Christ say, steal from someone. This morning, I share a little bit of my food that I purchased for me with the geese that come around me, showing me the love of the Lord. And these are geese that do have a right to eat because someday they might be Christmas dinner for our people. And I know that's sort of a perverse concept because I honestly don't know what the laws are with regard to hunters at that fall time shooting them. But what I saw and what I experienced from my point of view is very observational and opinionated as a columnist. You see, what I was doing was feeding some geese and ensuring that the geese do what they do, which is to clean up everything they have eaten. And they do that. The other thing about geese is that they open them. Now the reason I made the switch is because that is the black gentleman that was literally driving his garbage truck at me with the geese and then driving his garbage truck at the geese and this really bothers me because those geese that came to see me because I had moved this morning to get out of the way of the Hispanic who was trying to solicit me to see if he could get close enough to me to harm me and that was my experience of that because that's what people do these geese came to find me specifically because when they flew overhead to check me to see if I was okay, I clapped for them and they landed for me, meaning they know that signal from me. That while I'm not their goose father and while I'm not a sheep herder, in the case of a geese herder, they know that if they need something from me, I will do my best under God's house and the Lord's laws of taking care of the small creatures of our earth, that I will feed them and I will share my food with them. And I would do that with any heart like they have. So I'm spending my time training them that when it isn't, isn't okay to approach me. And they literally come and are there when I wake up from my afternoon nap, which I've done for 15 years of my life, but I used to do it with my wife before we went off to our jobs. But this guy is now retraining them that I am the, the bait for them and he's gonna run them over with his truck for his company. Atlantic, what is it called? Atlantic Services Incorporated. So that company representative, who just demographically happens to be a black man, probably in about his 50s or 60s, is speeding through the parking lot that he is supposed to be sweeping on behalf of Best Buy, Ross, Michaels, and uh, Shoe Carnival. And instead of taking it slow to clean up the cigarette butts and the food that isn't really edible by our nature that comes around us all the time in this lot, Usually it's sparrows and crows that come here that pick things up and help us to keep our streets clean. But marvelously, he's chasing through the lot and he's driving his vehicle at me very closely. Now, should I feel a threat from him? Yes, because what he's communicating on behalf of his company is that I, as a person who's walking through the lot to return to my next engagement, appointment, time management schedule, doesn't have the right to feed a live creature. And the stupidity of that man is he doesn't realize that as soon as those birds are done eating and as soon as I give them the sign of thank you Lord for the food, no more, they will leave. And they do that regularly for me. Now those aren't my typical family of geese, but here's what I know about geese. They gossip like you can't believe. 
And what I know is that the mama goose of all of the geese, where they all congregate together at night, has communicated the signals through their way that they do, which I'm fascinated with their language a little bit, because I know that God does that in animals, has probably communicated, if you're hungry, go find that priest. 